My name is Anders and uh, I am welcoming you to a quick tour of Hegel Music System today. So, in here, if you follow me, here are the R&D offices of Hegel where we develop all the Hegel products that you know. So, to the right here, the first right, is um, mechanical design. And this is where our colleague Tron usually sits and makes all the design work for the cabinets and front panels and knobs and stuff like that. Tron will also be the typical service report or service support manager for service repair centers around the world. If we continue down here, the next place you'll see is the software development department. Anton, my colleague, is already sitting over there. There is another guy also in uh, software development called Joachim, who is software manager and also R&D manager for, for Hegel. So this is all, or where all the magic that you experience when you're using the Hegel products uh, happen. Onwards, this is the corner of our owner and founder, Ben Tolter. He's now owning 100% of Hegel, and he's the person who originally founded the company. Bent is still responsible for almost all of the hardware uh, designs, like digital hardware, analog hardware. So the brain behind the sound performance of the Hegel amplifier is Bent. So he has his own playground here, and it's important that we were to point out, we use a lot of money and resources on getting the best possible measurement equipment. Like we use our ears uh, also when we develop our amplifiers, but the, the bottom line and the beginning of everything is using computers and the best testing equipment possible. So here's this audio precision system 2722. We have several of those around the premises and also all other kinds of, of measurement tools that are crucial to the development of Hegel products. So this is Ben's playground. If you follow me further, in here is the sales department. Now, Hegel is quite old school. Uh, we're so old school that it's just, a, well, a year and a half since we went away from whiteboards as our main computer system. Now we use proper computers and a proper sales system. But we try to keep things simple. Um, and that's sometimes we often forget because it's so interesting with all the fancy, uh, schmancy things. But these are my colleagues, Christian, who some of you who has reached out to us on our email account or Facebook or something like that. Christian is usually the guy at the other end of that talk. And over there is Andreas, who helps me uh, with sales trainings and marketing, and he also is responsible for arranging all of our adverts and stuff like that. And, and this is me and our new colleague, the Dino, the, the Remotosaurus. This is our plan for making an app where we don't want the proper app but we want this so you can e more easily reach out and grab your remote and get it close to you. So you don't need an app anymore. So this is the sales department. And we have a very strict clean desk policy. Very strict clean desk policy for Andreas, but only for Andreas. <laughs> for all the rest of us, it's, uh, what what you call it, Andreas? Controlled chaos? Controlled chaos, yes. <laughs> yes exactly, that's what it's all about. Um, so here we are. It is a rather small company. We're not a ton of people. Uh, the positive thing about that is that you, we can turn around quickly. We listen to our, our, our customers and our partners around the world. And when you have ideas and things you want and things you'd like for the products, it's a fairly quick turnaround because when Christian hears of something on Facebook, he can go directly to the software department and ask, you know, why can't we do that? And then quite often they can, ooh, that's a good idea. And then a month later, you know, there's a software update with a fix. So this is a quick tour 
to Hegel R&D and sales premises. And thank you very much for joining. Impeccable timing, yeah. Just one thing.